Now for the mixing process, there are mainly two requirements. One first one is a one tank to hold the liquid or to hold the material which is we are going to mix. And second one is a impeller which rotate and produce the mixing process. Now first of all, we are going to discuss mixing process by type and type like liquid mixing, solid mixing as well as the semi-solid mixing. Now first of all, we are moving towards liquid mixing. Now liquid mixing requires means uh, it includes three mix three types of mixer first one is propeller mixer turbine mixer as well as the pedal mixer now first of all i am going to discuss about propeller mixer now propeller mixers are the mixer in which the mixing takes take place due to the vortex formation and due to that vortex formation the velocity would be of fluid would be increased and due to that mixing can be take place but uh, this propeller mixer is not useful for the high liquid uh, the, the liquid which ha has high viscous, high viscosity, at that time propeller mixer is not used. Second one is turbine mixer, and some limit is that if five viscosity is up to five, then it is used. In case of turbine mixer, the same mechanism uh, as like propeller mixer, but viscosity is up to hundred. Up to hundred. Viscosity, we can use turbine mixer, and if our liquid contains higher viscosity as compared to this hundred, at that time, now pedal mixing. Now, if the viscosity of our liquid is more than hundred, then the mixing can be take place by the pedal mixer. In pedal mixer, there are two blades, and due to that blade, these blades act as an impeller, and due to that, the vortex formation is very less. Because of high visc viscosity of liquid, the searing will be very less, but the mixing can be take place. Apart from that, solid liquid mixing, it is also called as uh, semi solid mixing. Now, semi solid mixing involves there are mainly four mixtures planetary mixture, sigma grade mixture, colloidal mill, and roller mill. Apart from that, these two mills are at, uh, used in both the purpose. Uh, size reduction as well as the mixing while in case of this uh, first two methods are only useful for the mixing purpose only and in that sigma blade mixer is the most widely useful now we move towards solid solid mixing now in solid solid mixing we can mix in by two ways if we want to mix in uh, small quantity as well as the if we will mix uh, into the large quantity. In small quantity, we can use tumbler mixer. Like in that, we fill the powder and just tumbling this instrument and we can mixing we can mixing this powder. But in case of ribbon mixing, uh, if the mixing blend is very large, then it is mainly used the ribbon mixing and it is mainly useful in the tooth powder preparation. It is mainly used. And one note is there, that uh, mixing instruments are mainly made up of the mono and metal, so it is most important. The instruments are mainly made up of the stainless steel, but it is mainly made up of the mono and metal. Start. Now, friends, majority of the pharmaceutical ingredients or pharmaceutical products are uh, contain more than one ingredient. Now, mixing is a main important process because uh, all of the products contain more than uh, two and three ingredients so it is most important that they have uniform mixing and until and unless they don't have any kind of uniform mixing their content uniformity will be very less so for the better content uniformity and the for the better therapeutic effect proper mixing should be done so there are various factors affecting of the mixing which uh, prevent this kind of uh, homogeneous mixing now first one is the particle size now in case of particle size, some particles are very bigger in size and some are very smaller in size and due to that non-uniformity between these particles, it leads to the negative mixing, means improper mixing. Apart from them, particle density. Now as far as the density would be increased, the mass of particle would be increased and as the mass of particle would be increased, higher denser particle and the lesser denser particle. The, uh, when we are going to mix this particle, the proper mixing will not be occur. Apart from that, particle charge. 
due to the surface free energy particle has some charge and this charge either will be a positive or in negative form but whenever this particles are come to each other and for uh, going for the mixing process at that time the mixing process will not be correctly occur because due to the particle charge difference they have some adhesion forces also as well as the cohesion forces also apart from that particle shape some particles has square shape and some particles has uh, spherical shape now suppose this particles different particle shapes are come to each other for the mixing process it will not be form uniform mixing because the shape difference can leads to the improper mixing that's why